If Brexit's a circus, here's the sideshow. Your Brexit's not worth it. Outside Parliament, every day, they're demanding a referendum redo. A tough pitch at first, it's now gaining traction with those making decisions inside. It's only recently that a lot of MPs are waking up to the fact that there's not really any alternative. Have you got a plan B, Prime Minister? The Prime Minister's closest aides were said to be making backup plans for a second public vote in case Theresa May's breakup plan flops. Joe Johnson even quit as government minister to call for a referendum on the deal. It's vital we go back to the people now and ask them whether they want to proceed with Brexit on this basis. The Prime Minister still intends to put her Brexit deal to a vote here in the House of Commons in January. That's plan A. But what's plan B? Right now, the most likely scenarios seem to be another referendum or a hard Brexit with no deal at all. The Prime Minister! The calls for a public vote have grown so loud today May responded with an emphatic no. Because it would say to millions who trusted in democracy that our democracy does not deliver. She says that now, but May's got rivals on all sides of this house eager to prove her wrong once again. She said she wasn't going to call a general election. She called a general election. She said she was going to put her uh, deal to Parliament for a vote, and she didn't. She's got quite a history of changing her mind, and I think she must realise now she's in a dead end. Today, the opposition showed it too has tricks up its sleeve. I'm about to table a motion which says the following, that this House has no confidence in the Prime Minister. Do you... May's response was to leave in a hurry. but she can only duck the criticism for so long. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.